So you might have gained a bunch of weight and you fell off your program, not just your nutrition, but also your training program. Now, if that happened to me where I gained some weight and I fell off my workout regime or whatever it is that I'm doing, what is it that I would do? Well, the very first thing that I would do is I believe in hiring the professionals. You need to hire a coach. The coach is gonna be able to sit down, figure out what your problem areas are, and they're gonna be able to help you with your obstacles and then develop solutions with a step-by-step -step plan that's gonna get you back on track. And once we get back on track, that weight's gonna shred off. Now, if you're looking to hire a fitness coach, you're looking to get into a great group of people where you're gonna meet friends that you could potentially grow old with, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit. We can start you off with the five days. So hiring a coach, whether it be a fitness coach where you come in to do the workouts or a belly burn coach where we're gonna be able to support you, guide you, hold you accountable over 28 days, hiring the coach is the first step that I would take in order for me to get 1% better. The second thing, since I've been there, done that, I would just go back to basics. So I would think of, okay, what workouts did I enjoy? What workouts actually worked? And which environment was I in that made me feel the best, that made me want to continue to come back? So if I fell off, that means that I'd probably stop going to the gym, right? But at some point in time, I love the gym. And so I already know that Fit Club is where I want to be because these workouts are designed for us to shred down, build muscle, and lose the weight that we don't need. We're also got the environment where the music is hype, where the coaches are great, where everybody gets to know your name like cheers. So to me, going back to that environment, going back to basics is the second thing that I would do. The third thing is that I would just remove temptation. So you need to cut out and get rid of everything that I know that is wrong. So for instance, yesterday I'm standing in the kitchen and the kids go into the cubbies and you know, in there we've got Actually, we have healthy choices, okay? Like we have the protein bars, we have the protein chips, we have like fiber gummies, like we have the vitamin Ds and the, you know, the multi multis, the Fred Flintstone stuff. So it's not like we're in there and everything is candy and, and garbage, right? Actually, the choices that we have are better than that. I mean, they're not perfect. They're not whole foods where they're like raspberries and strawberries and stuff like that. You can't keep that stuff into the cubbies, but they are better choices that I would say you can have in moderation. And so for me to remove temptation, the door was wide open. I just woo, closed it, okay? I closed it and I don't even go in there, okay? So if I'm focusing on getting to my goals, getting back on track and losing the weight, then the first thing that you need to do is if you got a problem with booze, you either move the booze to the garage or move it to the basement, out of sight, out of mind. Some of you, even better, dump it out. Okay, if you've got a bunch of crap in there that you definitely aren't eating and you say that the kids only eat but yet you're the one eating it, then you need to throw that bag away. If it's unused, donate it. Like get it out of the house temporarily while you can go cold turkey and then you can get yourself back on track. So go cold turkey initially so that you can remove all temptations and then you can get back to having a little. If you were able to just have a little and stop right there, then this isn't the method for you. But most people, they can't just have a bite. Most people can't just have one drink. Like they gotta go excessively and they think, well, I've already come this far, I might as well keep going and then I'll start again on Monday and Monday never comes. So you need to remove temptation, this way you don't fall back into bad habits. Then the fourth thing that I would do is make it known. So let my people know this is what I'm gonna do and this is why, okay? So for me, I set a lot of goals out there and whenever I say something to somebody, I would hate to back out of that, okay? And even if that person forgets. So in this last belly burn, my goal was to have my phone and TV off by 11.15 p.m. every single night. Now you're like, oh, that's late, RJ. But the thing is, I work late, okay? So oftentimes I'm on my phone doing belly burn check-ins till like 10, 10.30, or I'll get home really late because of kids' events, et cetera, et cetera. So the majority of my work is actually front-loaded and back-loaded. It's the middle of the day where I'm not busy. So where I'm going to bed at 11, waking up at, at six, you know, I'm still getting anywhere from six to seven hours. I'll slot a time where I'll actually take a break to decompress. Now I'm able to manage my schedule that because I have that split schedule, but I let it known that this is my goal and here's the punishment if I don't do it. So my thing was 11.15, the TV and the phone have to be off. Otherwise I gotta do 10 burpees every time I walk into this class before I teach a class. Well, over the 28 days, 100% success. <laughs> the people that I asked to hold me accountable, they fell off with holding me accountable, 
but I set this to myself. I let it known out there to the world. So if I would have fallen off, which I did want to in week three, then I would have told those people that, hey, this I screwed up and I'm gonna do my burpees, okay? So once you make it known, that's like a verbal commitment to somebody else and a verbal commitment to yourself. So make it known of what your goals are. Then the last, but probably the most important is that you need to set a short-term goal. And the short-term goal doesn't have to be unrealistic, okay? But the short-term goal could be no food from the cubbies, right? You can't go into the pantry and eat out of there, right? Nothing that you eat comes from that pantry, okay? Even if it's canned tuna or canned chicken, like you make that stuff fresh, okay? That could be one of them. Your other goal could be just show up to five workouts this week, okay? And then the last one could be simple. Just hit 10K steps five days a week. Keep it super simple. Keep it within five days so that it's obtainable, it's measurable, and you're able to create a reward right at the end. Then you can reward yourself with something small, okay? So if you go chip free for five days, then allow yourself one snack size chip bag at the end of those five days. This way you feel accomplished and you get the reward just like an athlete crosses the finish line first, they get a medal. Well, your race is gonna be five days and at the end of it, you're gonna get one snack size bag of chips. So if you gained a bunch of weight and you fell off, first thing, hire a coach, www.fitclub.fit. Mention get started, go back to the basics, remove all temptations, even if it's just temporarily, make it known to your people or to social media that this is what you're doing. I always like to tie in a repercussion to it. So here's my goal. If I don't do this, then this is what happens, okay? Then set a short-term goal where you're able to track it every single day. So have a list, you know, workout, no sugar, 10,000 steps, three liters of water. Have a list written in front of you. This way you can check it off and you can see whether you're succeeding or you're failing and where you need to step it up. And I guarantee you, if you follow these five steps, that the weight that you gain is gonna be gone and you're gonna be right back on, on track and never falling off.